Hello everyone, today I want to show you another macro video of how to sum the total numbers for all the different tabs um, where they have different row count. So you can actually treat it as a follow-up video um, after you watch the splitting uh, the spreadsheets in master spreadsheet into multiple spreadsheets and uh, maybe after watch my playlist of how to split a master file, uh, which I wouldn't repeat here. Uh, but what I'm going to cover today is that, okay, say you actually have already split uh, a master file and then let's say here is the column of like say base pay and then you actually want to sum up all the base pay numbers in um, um, and put a sum into uh, one of the one of the cells there so apparently because different tabs have different row counts um, you might have to do if you do it this manually you will have to manually create your sum uh, function um, or actually um, in some cases you might need to update this uh, spreadsheet pretty frequently say weekly or monthly um, in which case actually if without macro you would have to construct that formula again and again and again so I am here to teach you today how to not to do that and just use a couple of line of codes to do that so um, let's make it clear about our uh, demand here so um, because the good thing about the way that we have uh, the spreadsheet is that although there are different numbers of rows um, in my spreadsheet in each uh, in each sheet I know for sure like say cell H4 uh, is always blank for each uh, of those um, uh, spreadsheets. So let me say I will use my uh, macro code to make the sum to be in the actual H4 cell for each of those uh, uh, spreadsheets. So let's uh, see what's the uh, code that I have here. So as you can see, like it's really not that um, complicated. It's just a couple of lines here. Um, the first four lines actually defines uh, what we need. So the uh, dim i, i is like the count of your sheets. And then work, uh, work sheet number is how we define uh, the ultimate number of sheets. So like, let's say, um, so you can see actually here the formula, the work, uh, the WS number equals to this workbook, worksheets count. So this is a number of how many uh, sheets you have in this workbook. So it, it, it like there's no limit to it. Um, and then the next line is dim uh, WS as worksheet. Uh, that's just a short form. And then we want to dim sum range RG as a range. And I will show you how we are using it here. So basically for all the chart, uh, for any of the sheets, we're saying that for I equals uh, one to work uh, sheet number. So from the first spreadsheet to the last spreadsheet, uh, we want uh, whatever worksheet that we are on to be activated. Um, so let's say if it's the first one, then we want it to be activated. And then in the activated spreadsheet, we want to sum, uh, we, well, we first want to uh, define the range of our uh, sum, which in our case is range um, H6 because we know the way we construct is that we don't know how many rows are there, but we know the, the number, the sum number will always start with H6, as you can see in all the different spreadsheets. It's always gonna start with H6. Uh, and then uh, the range that we wanna do the sum with is gonna be starting with H6, and then with H6 goes all the way down. So in like it's really like our range is doing this to select the full range um, and then the next line of code is saying that for range h4 we want the value to be the sum of the sum range that we just selected and then after we have done that we go to the next spreadsheet until we hit the end of the spreadsheet and then end the sum so yeah so really that's what the code is about and now let's run it and see what's happening 
So yeah, so you can see actually it's almost instant. Of course, uh, if you have many more lines and many more sheets, it's gonna be slower, but this is really how long it's taking for maybe like for 10, 10 ish uh, sheets. So it's really, really fast. And let's say if you have to update this weekly, daily, monthly, it will save you a tremendous amount of time. Um, and actually as a bonus, uh, one follow up question I have is that, um, what if we wanna, like now we have the sum for each of the tab um, at, in the edge four cell for all the tabs. What if I wanna create, let's say I wanna create a total tab uh, and then I wanna say, okay, give me the sum of, um, of all sheets for base salary, which means that essentially we wanna, um, we wanna get the sum here for all the sum of the H4 in all the subs. Um, so how do we do that? Um, I will show you a trick here, which I found really, really neat. So I'm gonna enlarge it. Um, it's essentially a sum bracket and then single quote, star single quote, exclamation mark and then you know it's cell h4 and then close your bracket uh oh no it should be single quote yeah um so that actually this part means all the spreadsheets and the h4 means your cell here you go so and then actually if you look at the formula here it's actually saying that um it's actually um summing from the finance spreadsheet up to the services cell spreadsheet for all and then it's summing all the edge force and this is how quick it is and then this formula will also be very helpful if you have a dashboard or summary kind of tab here okay so this is everything i want to share with you today and um, i hope it's helpful to you Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you like it. If you have any question, please leave me a comment and I will talk to you very soon.